and grief to a small businesswoman whose happiness wasn't just in the past. Her work gave her hope. It made our family proud. And to this day, my mom is my role model. Behind every small business, there's a story worth knowing. All the corner shops in our towns and cities, the restaurants, cleaners, gyms, hair salons, hardware stores, these didn't come out of nowhere. A lot of heart goes into each one. And if small business people say they made it on their own, all they're saying is that nobody else worked seven days a week in their place. Nobody showed up in their place to open the door at five in the morning. Nobody did their thinking and worrying and sweating for them. After all that work and in a bad economy, it sure doesn't help to hear from their president that government gets the credit. What they deserve to hear is the truth. Yes, you did build that. We have a plan for a stronger middle class with a goal of generating 12 million new jobs over the next four years. In a clean break, in a clean break from the Obama years, and frankly, from the years before this president, we will keep federal spending at 20% of GDP or less because that is enough. The choice, the choice is whether to put hard limits on economic growth or hard limits on the size of government. And we choose to limit government. I learned a good deal about economics and about America from the author of the Reagan tax reforms, the great Jack Kemp. What gave Jack that incredible enthusiasm was his belief in the possibilities of free people, in the power of free enterprise and strong communities to overcome poverty and despair. We need that same optimism right now. And in our dealings with other nations, a Romney-Ryan administration will speak with confidence and clarity. Whenever men and women rise up for their own freedom, they will know that the American president is on their side. Instead, instead of managing American decline, leaving allies to doubt us and adversaries to test us, we will act in the conviction that the United States is still the greatest force for peace and liberty that this world has ever known.